Hey, are you planning to run a 10K race? Well, you have to know that a 10K Sunday morning run is not quite the same experience as a 10K race. There are 10K runs and there are 10K races. A 10K is usually a runner's first race that requires specific training to optimize performance and to dial in the perfect pace, especially if a good result is the goal. But I can give you some training tips. Now, when you run with a goal in mind, the biggest challenge is knowing how to manage your effort no matter the distance. That's why the best training you can do to achieve your goals is a progressive and varied program. You must mix in between interval sessions and endurance sessions. Endurance is the body's capability to sustain an exercise for an extended period. A one hour run at an easy and steady pace is the perfect training to improve endurance in running. Interval sessions means that you alternate between rapid running and recovery phases. Well, running intervals will improve your stamina, increase your pace, as well as develop your M-A-S. Maximal aerobic speed, or MAS, is the running speed at which a person consumes maximum oxygen. VO2 max. All right, all right, enough of that. Mass is one of the fundamentals when creating a training program. Knowing your MAS and creating your training program based on it allows you to maximize and optimize the amount of energy provided by the oxygen you consume. Warning, don't confuse MAS with your maximum speed or sprint speed. It is possible to run faster than your MAS. There are several ways to calculate MAS. You can go to a performance lab or a gym to get a precise calculation of this value. However, it is easy enough to estimate your MAS on your own. To do so, you're going to have to carry out a stress test in the field. The easiest and the most common test is the half Cooper test, which is done on flat, smooth ground. After you warm up, put your clock on six minutes and run. See how far you can get and that distance in meters divided by 100 is your MAS. For an eight-week training plan, it is recommended to schedule four sessions in a week, then cutting back to two sessions in the week of the race. Each week, alternate an interval session with an endurance session to find your rhythm and spread out your different sessions. Always start your training with a 20 to 25 minute warm-up. You do this to get your body gradually up to speed. This will help you avoid injury. Finish your sessions with 10 minutes of jogging to cool down. The most effective ways to do interval training is to run on a track or to run with a GPS watch. During your jog, don't hesitate to add a few climbs and descents in your route. This will help you manage your efforts and your breathing. In the week of the race, ease up on your training program. Two training sessions will be enough. A short interval session and a recovery jog and you are sorted. Now that you're ready, have a great race.